Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so for today's video, I have something a little bit different again, um, but I thought that it might be fun. Um, it's quite a chilled, laid back one today. Um, so I've been doing a little bit of tidying and clearing out and I decided that I quite wanted to go through my collection of plushies um, because I have many many plushies. Um, so next to me I have a sack which is just full of various plushies that I tidied away um, and I thought that I would go through and decide just to clear some out basically so um, I'm gonna put some of them in a bag and I think they're all generally in pretty good condition so I'm gonna give them to charity and obviously you know if the charity shop you know decides they're not and they throw them away that's fine but I thought I would just do them all one go so I have a <laughs> um a big black bag and yeah that is gonna be the plan for today so yeah just um sit back and enjoy <laughs> Okay, so let's have a little delve, shall we? Oh, there's so many that I'm actually not quite sure where to start. Okay, this one feels like a good one to start. Okay, so here we have a little, um, oh no, I've forgotten what her name is. Jemima. We have a little Jemima puddle duck that I got from, I think I actually bought her from um, there's like a museum in the Lake District, like a Beatrix Potter museum. Um, yeah, and she's got her little shawl on. Oh. <laughs> she's still in really good condition, I feel like, and her little, her little bonnet as well, which I love. Um, but yeah, I feel like she's probably gonna go in the get rid of pile. Um, I feel like I've, my plan is sort of, unless any of these have really strong sentimental value or I just really love them for like a sort of nerdy fandom sort of reason, then I'm probably going to get rid of them. So I love you, Jemima, but I think I'm going to let you go and fly off to somebody else who can love you more. <laughs> I feel very um, Marie Kondo right now. I'm like, I loved it. And now I'm like, you know, passing it on to somebody else who can enjoy it. So let's pop her in the bag. Okay, what do we have next? I'm having to like coil around just to like, might just have to sort of be sideways a little bit. Okay. Okay, so we also have a few of my little ponies in here, which I'm going to keep because I love them. I'm just going to move them out of the way. So we have these three. I think I bought them all together. I can't remember what shop I found them in, but it felt like they came as a three. Although well, they're quite bedraggled as well. I need to like unbedraggle them at some point. So we have, this is Luna or Nightmare Moon. And she's also known as Oh, they'll have these amazing shiny plasticky wings and plasticky little saddle type things as well and little shiny hooves um oh and the little my little pony logo on the hoof um yeah i can't remember where i actually got these from but <laughs> um yeah i just love them so much so they're definitely going to be staying so we also have princess celestia oh she looks like a mess as well <laughs> i'm sorry princess celestia with her amazing shiny wings and her shiny saddle and her shiny little Hoovesies and her little embroidered cutie mark. And then we have Princess Cadence, who, as you will all know if you're a My Little Pony dog, she is married to Shining Armor, who is Twilight Sparkle's older brother. The more you know. I'm sorry, though. I'm sorry you're a mess. I will do I will do better next time, I promise ladies yeah there's a few ponies in here that i think i'm gonna need to take out so we also have a pinkie pie who i'm also gonna keep obviously because i love her she's my favorite pony i just love her squishy little <laughs> she is in the keep pile okay what else have we got in here Do -do 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 -do. okay Oh, I 
might have to put this one in the maybe pile. Oh, this is the part where I can't figure out how many I want to keep and how many I want to get rid of as well, which is going to be interesting. This is a... I'm going to put it in the maybe pile for now. I'll have a maybe pile over here and then I can decide after I've gone through. I'm like, if I've not gotten rid of enough, then I'll have to be more... What's the word? Savage. But this is Luna. Princess... Uh, not Luna. No, it's Luna. <laughs> it's another Luna, but not My Little Pony Luna. It's Sailor Moon Luna. And she is Serena's cat. <laughs> yeah, I think I've kept her in fairly good condition, which is nice. I'm just going to put her over here for now in the maybe pile. She can stare at me judgmentally. Um, okay, who else do we have in here? Oh, I think this is one I'm going to get rid of. So this is Strawberry Shortcake, who I have had for a very long time. Um, again, I can't remember where I got her from. I want to say Woolworths, and I'm not sure why I bought her because, or why I got her at the time, because I'm not actually, I've not seen really any of the Strawberry Shortcake, like, TV show or cartoons or whatever it was. I think it's had, like, a few different incarnations. I think this is, like, a slightly newer version of her. Um, but yeah, she's got a lovely little... Her tummy sort of smells a little bit of strawberries. Yeah, she's very nostalgic for me, so I feel quite sad that I have to let her go because, yeah, it's time for her to go make somebody else happy. Again, her hat is a little bit crinkled, but <laughs> doesn't look too bad, so. Goodbye, strawberry shortcake. You are going in the pile. Then you're going to make somebody else happy. Okay, this... There's a little star cushion which I'm probably going to keep because it's just so cute, look at it. <laughs> you can't go wrong with a kawaii little cushion. Squish, squish, squish. Um, not actually sure again where I got this from. I'm afraid that's not very helpful, is it? I'm sorry. But you can appreciate its cuteness all the same. <laughs> I'm going to put it over here with the little pony squad. Pony squad. Gosh, what else do we have in here? There's so many, so many things. Okay. Okay, I think even though I love this one, I'm probably also going to let it go. This is a really cute little swan with a little crown <laughs> and lovely little fluffy wings. So it doesn't really belong to any particular fandom, but it's very cute. <laughs> Oh, if I had my way, I would just keep them all forever and ever, but you know, you gotta be, sometimes you gotta be sensible and be like, no, it's time for you to fly the coop. <laughs> Into the bag you go, my little friend. Okay. Do, 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 do. Got some bigger ones and some smaller ones. Okay. Next we have lots of hugging bear. Okay, so this is a big cuddly Disney bear with his oh what's up with his eye? Oh it's just gone a little bit. <laughs> you can't see his other eye very well. <laughs> he also has a tummy that smells of strawberries and it's kind of maintained its scent fairly well again, so he's also very soft and squishy. Again, I think I'm going to put him in the maybe pile and just see how many others I get rid of before I make a decision. Because that is how we roll in this house. Right, let's try and move some of the other ponies out of the way because they are taking up most of this bag. So we also have another Pinkie Pie. Again, I'm going to keep her because I love all my ponies too much. Look at her little squishy nose. <laughs> um, I think this is a Builder Bear Pinkie Pie. I have two... Builder bears. I have a Pinkie Pie, and then if I keep digging in this bag, I have another one. There's a lot of ponies in here. This isn't a Builder Bear, but it's a Twilight Sparkle. Again, I'm going to keep her because she is precious, and we love the ponies. Okay, I think I'm going to have to keep delving if I want to find the. We'll just keep going, and eventually we'll get to the. Um... My God. I'm just like, I love them all. I don't want to let them go. Okay, what else do we have? 
ってるね。Okay, so I found a few more items. So next we have this adorable little house-shaped cushion, which again, I really, really like this, but I think because I have quite a lot of cushions already and because I'm trying to be quite uh, ruthless, I'm going to put it in the bag. So um, it says little home. Oh, John Lewis, apparently. So maybe I found this in John Lewis and was just like, it's got lovely textures, lovely little flowers painted on it little like lacy bits under the windows <laughs> and a lovely little like trim along the top here so yeah I feel like that would fit quite well in like a child's bedroom or a nursery I mean obviously it wasn't really designed with an adult in mind but I was like it's really cute <laughs> so I bought it but now I'm passing it along into the bag it goes okay this is a fitting one for me to get rid of a big fat pumpkin plush. Does it say where this one is from? Beth Jordan, I think that must be the name of the designer, but I can't find. I'm afraid I can't recall where I bought it from. It's actually quite heavy. I don't know if it's meant to be like an actual doorstop and not just a, a plush, but you could definitely use it that way. Yeah, but it has served its time, so it's going into the bag. Into the bag. Into the bag of wonders. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so next we have a little plush of the mayor from uh, Zootopia or Zootropolis if you are in the UK. Although I think Zootopia sounds way better. Um, I just bought her because... Um, even though, spoiler alert, she's like the villain of the film or a villain of the film. She's like got this really cute, like nerdy, like aesthetic going on. She's got giant glasses like me and she's got like a cute little cardigan and a really cute little dress and her little feetsies. Um, yeah, but I think that I'm going to pass her along and put her in the bag. I'm just trying to get some of the, the dust off of her little bones. Little... Really love her little, I'll just, it's a bit dusty, but I'll hold it closer so you can see her lovely little fluffy bones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I like the um, the quality of the material is really nice as well. I'm afraid you'll have to take my word for it, but yeah. It's time for her to go, so into the bag she goes. Okay, so what do we have here? Oh. I'm already at that point where I'm like struggling to make decisions. <laughs> okay, so next we have a little fluffy cloud. It's so, so soft, which I think is my main reason for wanting to keep it. But I think I am going to put it in the bag. But oh my gosh, it's so soft. <laughs> oh, I might put it in the maybe pile, actually. <laughs> that one can go in the maybe pile. Okay, this is one that I'm going to put out. So this is a few of the ones I have are jelly cats. Um, I get gifted quite a few of them because my mother loves jelly cats. So this is a little zebra because I really love zebras. It's very very soft again, a lot of these are very very soft. Um, I don't know if it has a name, sometimes they give them names but I think this one's just got the, the tag and it doesn't have a, a name underneath so. Oh, suitable from birth it says. That must be why it's so 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 soft. But yes, the little zebra is going to go in the bag I'm afraid. <laughs> And then the other animal that I am going to keep, so other than zebras, I also really love giraffes. So I think I'm going to keep this silly little giraffe. I bought this from Paper Chase. R.I.P. Paper Chase. Oh, I love its little tail as well. It's got like a little, a silly little tail. But yeah, I just really like all the little patchwork on it. And its silly little face. <laughs> 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 So yeah, I'm going to keep this one, put it in the pile of all the ponies. Uh, okay, so this one is a definite keep. Um, this is a really cute little um, dolphin, <laughs> I forgot the word then. Um, I've had this for ages and I can't remember where I got it from, but it kind of doubles up as like a pyjama bag. Not that I've ever particularly used it for that purpose, but or like anything else if you wanted to just put something in here. 
Yeah, so that's quite handy actually. I've not really taken advantage of that very much, but yeah, I like that. I just like having a little dolphin. Oh, it's got a little hanging up. You know, if you are using it as a pajama bag, you can just hang it on a hook and stuff as well. I just love its like wide snout. <laughs> it's got such a wide snout. And yeah, it's very, very soft. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid most of this video is just going to be me hugging various creatures. <laughs> That's what you get for, uh, for watching. That's part of the experience. Okay, we have a few more. <laughs> okay, so we have a few more to go through. So first of all, we have this adorable little bear, which I think I'm going to keep. Squish, 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 squish. I got this from Kenji. You can see on the tag. Oh, I'm not very good at holding it. <laughs> it's very puffy. <laughs> I like the ones that have got a lot of like a lot of puff to them. This one's just like a giant marshmallow on your face. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna keep you, aren't we? Yes, we are. You can go in the stay pile. Okay, next we have this adorable shark, which I do want to keep, but I think I'm going to put it in the get rid of pile. Look how cute it is. It's a little thing. It's <laughs> holding it like this, like jaws. <laughs> okay, I did relent on keeping the shark, so I think that means I'm going to put Lotso in the bag instead because even though he's very big and cuddly I feel like I feel like it's time for him to go and make somebody else very happy so goodbye Lotso goodbye goodbye he goes oh I'm Lotso Hogan Bear <laughs> in that exact voice in the bag you go Mr. Lotso <laughs> oh there we go Oh, I just like to think about, in the same way that when I go into a shop and I just, you know, into a charity shop and I just find something and fall in love. It's just nice to think about other people falling in love with the things that you once loved. So that is a very nice feeling. Okay, so the next one that is definitely going to go out is this very cute little bunny. Um, I do already have another one like this, my mother. These are like her favourite of all the jelly cats, the little rabbits. Um... I don't know what the name of like the specific range of them is. I think they all have different names, but this is a very, very soft pink one. So yeah, she will make a little girl or a little boy or a little somebody very happy. <laughs> Into the bag you go with all the other friends. With all your little friendos. Okay, I think I am, oh, I don't know what to do about the cloud. I feel like I need to either keep the cloud or keep the cat. Oh, but I can't keep both of them, so. I'm leaning towards the cloud just because it's really, really, really soft. And I think that that is like what's winning it for me. Just like, it's so, so, so soft. <laughs> oh, so, okay. I think we're going to keep the cloud. And the lovely little kitty cat is going to go in the bag. And I think that somebody will find her and be like, oh, Sailor Moon. And we'll get very excited about that, so. I feel like I'm doing fairly well. I knew that I wasn't gonna like have it in me to get rid of everything, but I feel like I've struck a good balance between being quite brutal and also keeping the things that I like. So. Okay, so next we have another cushion. Um, I got this one from Primark. I don't remember how long ago I got it, but I really like it, so I think I'm gonna keep it. I like that it's quite flat as well, if you see me hold it sort of that way and that way you get an idea that's quite a straight flat cushion so yeah nice soft it's very soft wow <laughs> okay this is another one i'm probably gonna keep it's a little blossom and she's like one that i've had for a really long time so she's quite a nostalgic 
I used to have her bubbles as well. She was like smaller and she had like a plastic head and then like a squishy body. And then I think you could press her body and she'd like say stuff or press her hand, I forget which it was. And she had the little plastic red phone as well, but I don't have her anymore, sadly, because bubbles was my favorite one of the three. <laughs> Saving the world before bedtime. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so we will put her in the little cute pile. Okay. Next we have a little Moogle. Um, I'm really not sure what to do about this one. I've had it for what, a while and it was also quite expensive. But I'm just a little bit on the fence. It's got really nice... Um, materially wings as well if you can kind of see the, the texture the little bubble head and yeah lovely little i really like the material of the nose it's sort of like a suede suede nose so yeah i'm not quite sure what to do about this one this is another one that i feel like I should get rid of, but I'm a little unsure. It's a little bellos on her little face. She's got a little um, hole in her arm, unfortunately, as well, where the stuffing is coming out. So, I need to stitch that back together. Bellosum, bellosum. <laughs> so cute. I think this dog is a keep. It's very, very, very soft. It's a um, jelly cat one again. <laughs> lots and lots of jelly cat ones. But look at his little, little face. Right. Put him in the keep pile. I think that is everything for now. I feel like I've made a reasonable dent in it, so I'm quite happy. At some point I might come back and do another part, but yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, just me having fun and being silly, so yeah. Bye for now!